Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, bringing you a little bit of a silly deck this week as I try and move away from some of my staples to play with other cards. <laughs> this deck is kind of silly based on uh, Sam and Rosie going on their honeymoon, only of course terrible disasters happen. <laughs> there's, there's more jokes that go into it, but they'll be in the deck description. Alright, so we got a lot of Noldor in this deck, we got Noldor heroes, and we are going to attempt to escape from Umbar. So, uh, I'm going to keep this opening hand, let's see what we draw. Way too many things, uh, sure, we'll just discard one of those to cure Dan's ability. Alright, that's not bad. Uh, I will... Spend one for a two to see, two to see, and one for Protector of Lorien. Uh, there's only one Glorfindel in the deck, but with two to see, two to see, we should be able to get him out next round if we want. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing else to do with these resources, so we're just gonna cheat in an Elven Jeweler. <sighs> and we're gonna quest. I don't need to make that much progress, but I'd like to make some. So we'll send seven, eight with an Elrond's Council, dropping my threat to 27. There's only two in the staging area, so my eight really ought to be good enough. Okay, this is currently one threat. So I will make five progress, one, two, three, four, five. I will travel to the narrow alleyway, allowing me to temporarily lose this Umbar sentry, and then I don't have to fight. So, discard all the cards in my hand at the end of the round, move on to the next one, where I will draw five cards and try to decide what of these I can spare. I have four resources this round. I think Fast Hitch is the least valuable of these cards. So let me throw down an Errand Rider. Uh, that'll help us pay for a lot of things. I guess I can just use to the sea to the sea and discard this to pay for Arwen. What do I discard instead of this Protector of Lorien? Oh, fast hitch. Yeah, that's totally fine. I'll put Protector of Lorien on Kirdan as well. Uh, the fast hitch is great, but it's not nearly as good on Sam as it is on Rosie. So, uh, let's quest. I don't really want to quest terribly hard. So let's just send Sam. Uh, there's a small chance I raise my threat from this, but it's not too bad. Yep, okay. All right, that's actually not true because there aren't any engaged enemies. Up against three threat in the staging area, I make no progress, uh, which gives me an extra chance, an extra turn rather, to avoid this Umbar Sentry. And we move on to the next round. And I should free this Protector of Lorien so people can see it. All right. Oh, that's a challenge. Well, I'll discard a Light of Alinor because I definitely don't need that. One, two, three, four plays a Treebeard, who unfortunately comes in exhausted. Uh, and I will save the rest of these for defense fodder, I believe. So, let's quest. Uh, let me send nine. Raise my threat by one for each character I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, doomed seven, or I lose a character. <sighs> Alright, uh, I can discard this Elven Jeweler, it's not that bad. 
So, my 7, my 9, uh, extra defense is on Aristor. My 9 up against 3 is 6 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which pops this Umbar Sentry into play, engaged with me. I will travel to the port of Harad. Uh, let me put this damage on an Errand Rider, because that is definitely the least impactful. And we get an Umbar Sentry attack. Uh, I am not going to spend the progress, because his four attack up against my three defense is not a big deal. So I just have to discard one card for that. And I forgot my archery damage, which is going to go on Treebeard. Unfortunately, I have no characters left to fight back, so he's going to stick around for a little bit, but oh well. And we are on to the next round. Alright, this is a good one. Build a Pony comes in for free, because I have Sam. Uh, I can Errand Rider to move one of these over to Sam. Pay for Rosie. Uh, Quickbeam has one resource. And I can use these other two to put an Elven Jeweler into play. That's one more attack that I did not have before. Three in the staging area, so I need a decent quest in order to not lose. And I need four attack to be able to deal with this Umbar Sentry. So I think that four attack is just going to be Treebeard. Uh, and my questing can be four, seven... Yeah, let's send seven. Uh, I need to make more than that. Make it nine. Once again, uh, and Aristor gets the defense boost. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, my nine up against four is five progress. One, two, three, four, five. Getting a little lucky about not hitting enemies. So we travel to the port of Harad and I can put a damage on this Elven Jeweler. Uh, yes. Archery damage is going to happen. I will add that damage to Bill the Pony. Aerosaur will defend and I will spend the progress this time. So this is a two damage attack up against three defense for a total of no damage. And Treebeard is enough to kill the sentry so that I don't have to deal with it anymore. Still need six progress to advance to stage two. Let's see if I can get some healing. I have to discard one of these, so Treebeard it is. I may have missed that for one of these rounds. Uh, let me throw a Light of Valinor on Aristor. So now he can quest and defend. Let me put a Fast Hitch on Rosie. So she can quest and then contribute to Sam for fighting. Uh, to the Sea, to the Sea, I definitely don't need any more of. So let me send four, six, eight to the quest. Uh, and I'm going to make it nine with Elrond's Council. Dropping my threat to 28. Umbar Street. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, up against six, I make three progress. One, two, three. Which means that was not enough to clear the port of Harad. And unfortunately, I cannot use Rosie to boost herself unless she becomes a hero. I don't have Sword Thane in the deck, though, so that's not going to happen. All right, let's move on to the next round. Oop, 
Yep, that's enough. All right, let me see if this is the third Will of the West. It's not. This is Will of the West number two. So I can... Let's discard Protector of Lorraine. That one is not terribly useful. Uh, let me use Errand Rider to move a resource from Sam on to Kirdan. And I will use 2 to the C to the C and discard 1, 2 in order to play a Glorfindel who's hiding in here somewhere. I uh, shouldn't have shuffled that, but it won't actually matter. Treebeard has one more resource on him, which is good news. Uh, that cost me three of these. I'm going to save this Errand Rider for a possible defense or willpower boost. So, let's commit to the quest. I have two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I forgot to commit Aerosaur last round, but, you know, these things happen. And I hit Control r instead, so... I'm just gonna remember that that was Kirdan, Arwen, uh, Fast Hitch. And my threat is still 29, and I'll fix it again at the end of the round. Umbar Square. Alright, so we got a lot of locations in here. Looks like a total of 8. I will play Elrond's Council, bumping my willpower to 11 and dropping my threat to 26. Uh, and I might as well discard this Errand Rider to make it 12. So up against 8, I make 4 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4. That clears the port of Harad and allows me to travel to the Umbar Street. Uh, Umbar Square and the Haradrim Estate are decently nice for Stage 2 because they make it more likely to get an enemy when you want them. So we're going to try and keep them for that. And we have nothing to fight, so we move on to the next round. And since I hit Control r already by accident, I have to manually ready and then add threat. Uh, I wish Control e and Control r were not so easy to hit by mistake. Alright, this is the final Will of the West, so basically if I want to do it, I have to play this one now. Uh, I'm definitely going to pay two, uh, let's see, out of all of these, I'm not going to be able to play two Aregion Survivors. So two for a Warden of Healing. We can definitely... Yeah, alright, let's Errand Rider move one of these over to Kirdan. Use to the sea to the sea, discarding the evening star, spending one resource, play an Eregion Survivor. And since this is the third Will of the West, it is. And that was somehow not the third evening star. I'm going to spend one for Will of the West. Shuffling all of those cards back into my deck. Uh, Treebeard has four resources this round. Woo! And now we get to quest. Uh, we're in decent shape to make it past this this round, but I'm not in a huge rush. We sent two, four, five, six boost on Aristor. Uh, seven, eight. Two, six, seven, eight. Sorry, ten. Ten up against five sitting in the staging area. Doing all right. Injured companion. Uh, let me get rid of Bill the Pony, actually, because he's actually free to play. Instead of Elven Jeweler, which is just mostly free to play. So, my 10 up against 5 is 5 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. So we don't clear this round. Do I want to travel? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let me travel to the Haradrim Estate. 
forces me to pull an enemy out of the deck. And just based on what I have available, I have 7, 8, 9, 10 attack within easy reach. So maybe... Look, take the Southron Soldier. Pulls me a little further away from the quest. You definitely also take Southron Archer. Like, all the surging guys are left. I could kill Southron Captain, which is a fun idea. Uh, I'd probably have to lose a jeweler, right? Three, four, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Oh, I have tons of attack. Yeah, let me pull out the Southron Captain, because I just really don't want to deal with him later, and I can definitely deal with him now. Uh, Sam's stats get boosted, because 40 is definitely higher than 27. I do place one progress on the quest, but we can't advance as long as I'm engaged with an enemy. So, Southron Captain is going to make an attack. His five, I have two, three defense options. Probably take two damage. Uh, let me... Do I want to sacrifice the jeweler? No, because that's going to remove progress. So let me defend with Treebeard. And before we reveal the shadow card, I'm going to ready him. And I'm going to exhaust the Warden of Healing in order to heal these two. So five up against Treebeard's three defense is going to be two damage. My bravery was rewarded. And I only need to do nine in order to fight back. So here is two, four, eight, ten. Killing the Southron captain. Ensuring that I will not have to deal with him. Especially with that champion side quest, which, you know, I'm sure we've all bumped into before. Uh, and that is that. So we immediately, at this point, advance to stage two, ending the combat phase. We. Oh. Well, now I was being clever, but I still have to deal with him because he's shuffled back into the deck. Ugh, just. Just pretend I know how these quests work. It probably will be better in the long run than admitting that I don't. Alright. Make sure we shuffle that up. And we're going to discard until we get an enemy. Not that one. That one's not so bad. And they're not revealed, so no surge. They do directly engage. <sighs> Alright. 15 more progress, more enemies killed, and everything is good. Sadly, I can't kill the Umbar Sentry now, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Alright, uh, extra Treebeard is the least useful. Real Treebeard has three resources. Definitely to the sea. Uh, discarding an Elven Jeweler to play a second region survivor. Do an Errand Rider to move this one off Sam onto Aristor. Play Quick Beam uh, with the damage on him. And now I have one more to boost Aristor's defense, which should be pretty handy. So let's quest. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need four plus whatever comes up in order to not lose. Uh, let's do Glorfindel to make that 13. See if we can get out of here a little bit quickly. <laughs> All right, Southron Captain. 
just what I needed. But okay, my 13 up against 4 is 9 progress. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't want to travel to Umbar Square. I don't I don't need that. I want to keep enemies engaged with us, unfortunately. Let me take this Southron captain, optionally. Uh, Sam is going to be boosted. Shadow, shadow. Uh, the Arwen defense boost is on Aristor again. Alright, first things first, I get one archery damage, which is going to go on an Elven Jeweler. Aristor is going to defend the Southron Captain. That one kind of sucks, but I will discard a card so he only takes one damage. Uh, for his second attack... Yeah. Elven Jeweler, you are going to bite the dust. Uh, that means that two progress are removed. Going to remove one more so that I can defend this Umbar Sentry at three attack with Treebeard. Uh, and before we resolve shadows, let me heal one, two. Okay, Umbar Sentry as a shadow means Treebeard takes no damage. Uh, and I'm going to do my best to kill the Southron Captain again. I have two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure, good enough. Kills the Captain. And we're going to save this Umbar Sentry because he prevents an extra encounter card every round. Thanks to this quest stage. So, uh, let's move on. Uh, of these, extra Arwen is the least useful. Let me slide a resource over here. I can discard Good Harvest to play my third region Survivor. 1-2 plays a Linden Navigator, who is a very safe discard. Uh, and this Elrond's Council is probably going to be a defense boost, but we'll see. Uh, you can also do some fun stuff with it by boosting Rosie's willpower, and then using that to boost Sam's attack or defense. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna need to do that. So, questing. I have two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it 13 one more time. Uh, I'm okay if we don't progress now. The nastiest Harad enemy is out. Uh, I have healing online and lots of hit points that I can soak up archery damage with. And then stuff like that happens, so that's a bit of a softball. All right, my 13 up against four is nine progress, which is one short. So let me play Elrond's Council. Mean I, blah, 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 blah. Words. Meaning I'll make 10 progress and drop my threat back down to 26. Which is coincidentally exactly the amount of progress that I need. Hmm. <laughs> and we're going to end this one in a bit of a cheeky way could certainly kill this Umbar Sentry in the combat phase, but instead, <laughs> I'm gonna travel to Narrow Alleyway, which is going to pull this Umbar Sentry out of play. And since I am no longer engaged with any enemies, we have escaped, <laughs> and that is the end of the quest. <laughs> All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.